I know this schedule doesn't give you enough time, Paul. If there were more time, I'd do it myself. Now listen carefully. I'm with you, Terry. It seems there's a place around here serving good food and serving it the way people like to be served. It can't be, Terry, or I'd know about it. Now listen, Paul. If this is true, it means somebody's got something big. It means they're wise to all the clues. Good food, clean place, and pleasing service. Now, if there is such a place, find it before noon, okay? Got it, Terry. I'll see you. I want to find all those who are in on this, Della. If it's true, just think. They're serving good food the way people like to be served. Why, people, all the people, ought to know about this. Come in, Paul. Hi, Terry. Hi, Della. I've got the whole story. You'll get a kick out of it. Sit down, Paul. Della has her notebook ready. The report is true then, eh, Paul? I'll say it's true, Terry. Why, well, I had a piece of pie that was out of this world. And this gal... Better start at the beginning, Paul. Well, my first stop was a place called Joe's. Looked all right on the outside. But when I got inside and took a good look at the gal that was waiting on me... No hairnet, painted fingernails, too much makeup, enough jewelry to fill a showcase... I knew this couldn't be the place. But uh, I decided to question her anyway. Uh, uh, just a couple questions, Miss... Uh... Uh, Vampire is the name. The soup ain't bad, but the beef's as tough as a detective's heart. Well, I can't tell the players without a program. How about a menu, Miss Vampire? Well, it's okay by me. But the coleslaw's the only thing worth eating. And since I don't like coleslaw, I got out of there in a hurry. You were right. In a case like that, maybe the food was good, but who cares? Go on, Paul. The next stop was uptown. Well, things here were moving pretty fast. Everything but our waitress, that is. She was wearing a uniform that looked like a dishcloth with sleeves. Her name was Miss Lazy. Well, that should have tipped me. Then I noticed a customer with a long beard at the end of the counter. I decided to watch the action. Gee, when I came in here, I was just a boy. Waitress, can't I even get a glass of water before I go? Hold your horses, chum. Hold your horses. There's just too much pressure on this job. And then I saw the way she handled that water glass and the menu and the embarrassing way she gave the order. One Weight Watcher special with extra dressing. Boy, what a voice. She really gave bang up service, though. One bang for coffee and one bang for silverware. And the way she looked when she had to tidy up the counter, you'd think it was the customer's fault. And then came her check. Was this a guest check? Or a guest check. Let's see. Number five with extra dressing, 78 cents. One, no. Two cups of coffee, 20 cents. Minus the side order of toast that you didn't want. Plus the tack. Oh, and I almost forgot. Well, I could see this girl would never be guilty of serving good food in a neat, enjoyable manner. I wasn't getting anywhere. Up one street and down another. Place after place. I was running out of leads, Terry. And then it hit me. Kresge's. I must have passed this store a hundred times. This just might be the place. The minute I stepped into the store, I had an idea I was on the right track. The equipment was the best, the counters and work surfaces were sparkling clean, and the food displays were fresh and appealing. Of course, I should have known that Kresge's would be a good place to eat. If it weren't good... The shoppers wouldn't keep coming back. It figured, no wonder they're one of the largest food operations in the world. And when the sales girl gave me a pleasant greeting, a glass of water and a menu, it was almost more than I could bear. What would you like, sir? I can recommend our luncheon special and our homemade pumpkin pie. They're both delicious. Oh, by the way, would you like a cup of coffee while you're deciding? Uh, no, thanks. But thanks for asking. What a deal. Here was an attractive, thoughtful sales gal who was interested in doing a good job. Her uniform was clean and attractive. Her hair and makeup looked nice. She just sparkled. Friendly service, that was it. 
I decided to question her just to make sure. Are you always this prompt when a customer comes in? I try to be. But excuse me one moment, sir. While you decide what you'd like to eat, I'll just help this other customer. I'll be right back. You get it, Terry? She didn't leave the newcomer sitting around like a lost soul. And she kept me happy by giving me a moment to make up my mind. This is good, Paul. Go on. Well, I'd hardly given my order when there she was serving my meal. It smelled good, it was piping hot, and served so well that I almost forgot what I was there for. But the food brought me back to reality. It was really good. My questions would have to wait. Was the turkey good? Just like you said, delicious. Fine. I'll bring you a pumpkin pie right away. How about that, Terry? This gal never missed a trick. Well, after I paid my check, I fired one more question at her, just for luck. Does the food in here always taste this good? Oh, yes, sir. Kresge's only uses top-quality foods. We serve dozens of nationally advertised brands, and our vegetables and fruits are all fancy grade. Yeah, that was it. This was the place, and this was the gal, no doubt about it. So I said, uh, I'm Paul Brake, Brake Detective Service. May I have your name? Miss Starr, but I... Don't I... go away, Miss Starr. I want my chief, Terry Payson, to see you with his own eyes. Yeah, that's the story, Terry. So go see for yourself. Okay. Della, take care of things while I'm gone. Hello, I'm Terry Payson. I've heard of you, Mr. Payson. Thank you, Miss Starr. I've certainly heard about you, too. From what Paul Brake tells me, we've solved our case. Now all we need is you for a witness. A witness? I don't understand. Yes, Miss Starr. We need to get your story of what it takes to handle a job like yours, to give friendly service. Will you clue us in? Oh, why, I'd be glad to. Then you can be our star witness, Miss Starr. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 